Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look was completed using my Vice 3 palette. I just have this up backwards. I really wasn't that sure if I was going to like this or not, but there was two colors that stood out to me so much. This color Dragon and this color Lucky. I pretty much based my look around those two colors. Um, and I like what I came up with. It's kind of like a green, gold, green looking, smoky eye. I just really, really like it. Actually, the reason why I decided to film this tutorial is first I put up the picture on Instagram and a few friends asked me to teach them how to do the look. And then it was awesome because I went to Sephora and I was just shopping and I had a lady come up to me and she asked me to... First she asked me what did I use to achieve this to achieve the look and then when I showed her the Vice 3 palette she was like, okay, can you do it on me? And I was like, wait, what? I have no brushes. Like, hold on, I don't work here. But she was like, yeah, yeah, just use your fingers if you have time, please. So I went ahead and I did it on her and it did obviously didn't come out as nice and blended. Of course it didn't come out as perfectly as I wish I could have done it for her, but still it was a really cool experience to like have somebody come up to me and be like, can you do my makeup? It's never happened before. I felt fancy and professional. Woo! But anyway, I actually really like this palette. After I did this look, like, this is actually the first and only look I've created with this palette. Oh, I fell in love with it. Um, the only problem with this palette that I seem to have is that the shadows, they are really powdery. But more than anything, there's a lot of fallout. I had fallout with the green color, with the darker colors, it's just, there was a lot of fallout. So I had to do my eyes before I did my foundation or anything else because you have to wipe away a lot of the fallout, you guys will see in the tutorial. Um, but yeah, so I really do like it. I recommend it if you guys can get it because there are a lot of beautiful colors and you can create a lot of different looks with this palette. I did not think I was going to like it as much as I do now. So, yeah. I only recorded the eye look. I had one eye done and I did the other eye because I didn't want the video to be super, super long. Um, I will list down below all the products that I use on my face. And, I don't know, I really like the total combination. But, again, I'll list that all down below in case you guys are interested. But, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this I look then just keep watching so first I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Too Faced shadow insurance primer and I'm gonna put this from lid to brow bone then I'm gonna take my Maybelline color tattoo from the leather collection and this is in the shade creamy beige and I'm just gonna use this to kind of conceal the eye a little bit more and prepare for shadows now I'm taking my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to use my Vice 3 palette. Taking the shade Downfall, I'm going to build this color up on the crease as a transition color. Just keep building it up. Now I'm going to take this flat shader brush and I'm going to dip into the color Dragon and I'm going to pat this all over the lid. I just realized that my eyelid color matched my nail color and it's just, I just had a moment. <laughs> so just pat that color on until it is as pigmented as you would want it to be. Now I'm going to take the shade DTF and with my Sigma E25, I'm going to kind of precisely put that into the crease and blend the lid and the transition color together. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 again and a little bit more of that shade in downfall to blend out um, the crease even more. You're gonna see that I'm going to blend a lot doing this look and I'm also going to reapply the shadows a lot because since you're blending so much you are going to lose some of that vibrancy. So again right here I am reapplying Dragon. Now I'm gonna take the shade Broke Down and I'm just kind of layering um, all the different shades that I feel would be able to transition the colors best 
And you don't really have to take this step, but I just wanted to. And then again, with no product, my Sigma E40 again to keep blending, blending, blending. As I said, just you're going to see me reapply these shades a lot. So that's a little bit more dragon. Now I'm taking the beautiful shade Lucky. And it's just a beautiful copper shade. But when you mix it with the green, it kind of gives like this gold effect. Like it's just beautiful. So I'm just literally packing this all over the color in dragon. Now I'm going to take the shade Defy and continue to deepen out the crease. Again, I'm just layering different colors. Just wanted the crease a little bit more um, deep and a little bit more smoky. Now I'm applying more of that dragon shade and a little bit more of the lucky. Now I'm going to take the shade revolver and I am going to use this um, and apply it to my outer V to deepen out my outer V. I am using my Sigma E40 because I want to just kind of diffuse it as I'm applying it. And now I'm going to take the Sigma E40 again and continue to blend all the colors together. As you guys can see, I have a whole lot of fallout. That's the only con with this palette, I think. And I'm just taking a makeup removing wipe and I'm just going to clean that up and sharpen up the edge of the shadows, the, the line. Just give myself more of a cat eye. Then I'm going to take this Jessie's Girls liquid eyeliner. As you guys have seen in most of my tutorials, I love it so much. And I am creating a winged eyeliner. It's semi, I wanna, I wanna say it's semi-dramatic. Um, it is starting out thinner and then kind of winging out a little bit thicker, but not so much. It is so hard to stay in frame and do your eyeliner. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade in Revolver um, and I'm gonna continue to deepen out the crease and just kind of, I wanna smoke it out. So I kind of want the wing liner and the shadow to kind of blend in together. So I just continue applying it until it is as smoked out and as blended as I want. And then I went again with the um, eyeliner to kind of bring a little bit more vibrancy to the eyeliner again. Now I'm taking my Silk Semi from L'Oreal in, I think it's Violet or pure, pur pure Purple. And I'm going to use that to line my waterline. And taking the shade, the shade, taking the shade Vanity, I'm going to take this e.l.f. smudger brush and just blend out that um, eyeliner. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. crease brush, if I'm not mistaken. And using the color Downfall and DTF, I am going to further blend out the lower lash line. And yeah, just kind of smoke it out a little bit, but not too, too much. I want, to, I want it to be more purple. Now again, I have fallout, so I took another makeup wipe to clean. And I hate these makeup wipes. They make my eyes burn so much. I got them at Walmart. I'm trying them out. I just can't wait to get rid of them. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to use the shade Truth as a brow bone highlight. This is just like a pinky cream, but it's very light and I felt like I had a lot going on in the eyes already, so I wanted a matte highlight. Now we're going to blend that together as well. <laughs> it's just a lot of blending when it comes to creating these looks. Now I'm taking my, <laughs> my Revlon eyelash curler. And I'm going to curl my lashes and use one of my babies, which is my Jordana Best Lash Extreme, to give myself the first coat of mascara. This look would be ideal with falsies, but I have yet to try them, so I'm just going to layer on the mascara. Now I'm going to use my other baby, my Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I am so obsessed with this mascara, and I'm just going to use that um, to give myself more length as the Jordana gives me more volume. And I'm also taking this telescopic mascara to put mascara on my lower lashes. Now I'm going to take the shade Bobbi Dazzle and it's like a white shimmery shade. And I'm going to use that um, for my inner corner highlight. Again, wiping away the fallout because there's so much of it. Now this is what the completed look looks like. Again, I have no makeup on yet, like no face makeup, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. 
And this is a completed look. I will have down below all the products that I use on my face. It's just such a, I think it's such a classy and elegant smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you guys saw, this palette just has like such intense colors. I really, really, really enjoyed the dragon and the lucky color so, 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 so much. And they blend fairly easily. They layer fairly easily. I really like this palette and I really, really like what I came up with. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this look, if you guys want me to try to create another look using different colors of the palette and um, I will be more than glad to do that for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more Vice 3 tutorials and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!